welcome everybody. We welcome. are almost in spring, oh, right? Yes. And we are in March. Yes. We're and in switched weather. to we white wine. Weather. That's right. We switched to white wine and we are wearing these beautiful spring outfits. We are in spring mode. Right yes. Spring. Yeah, and more to come on the outfits. Big stuff in store. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about on those. Yes. So happy almost spring. I'm so excited. Let's get rid of the snow yeah, and, yeah, and move on. Yeah, I'm done with the winter. Oh my gosh, the 70 degrees, isn't it lovely? No coat. All of it. Today, so nice. need a coat, but you know, Green we're almost there. Green is coming right. up. That's um, right. Open-toed shoe season's coming. Put the you boots know. away. Put the heavy parkas Weekly away. pedicures yes. are coming back. They're coming back. White, literally white wine's here. When I, when we pour the white wine, we say it's spring. Okay. Well, so it's look what we have. Right it's now. spring. Right, right, yeah, right. That's right. So, so welcome. Um, so we'll go right into our hot topics, I thought. Let's tonight. do it. Let's so, do it. So um, I thought... Um, a significant event occurred recently, which everyone is very aware about. Um, on Valentine's Day, the shooting at Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High School, which left 17 people dead and 14 taken to the hospital. Um, it was the seventh, second deadliest shooting in a U.S. public school. And I don't think anybody has been left um, untouched I'm by this. Um, just, I mean, it's become almost the norm. You know, I talk to the girls about it. Mm -hmm, um, right. Lockdowns. I, first of all, I feel so, so sad for those families. I don't know if you saw any of the town hall meetings yeah. mm -hmm. um, that's been happening around the country in Washington, D.C., in Florida. And I know people are going to say, you know, I want my gun. I need to have my gun. More yeah. mental health issues. I don't think that it's you know, wrong to say, I don't, you know, if you want to be an NRA supporter, it's fine, that's not what I'm saying, but I mean, these assault weapons that kids are allowed, that anybody's allowed to buy, I don't understand why you need to have an assault weapon in the first place if you're not in the military. I don't understand how easy it is for kids to Get their walk hands on these things. Things. Yeah. Absolutely, without a doubt, more mental health services needed. You know, we, I'm not saying that's not needed, but having access yeah. to these types yeah. of... And did you see the interview with the people that took them in? And how they said the first thing they did was they locked, they put the guns that they owned in the home in a safe mm -hmm. because they kind of knew something. Mm -hmm. I, it was almost like it was it was odd. But they, they said the first thing they did when they when he was coming home was they on the interview they said they, they took him in, they put their guns away, and they locked. They locked lost their family. And it's really not something that our kids should be worried about. You know what I mean? When they unfortunately it's a reality. But when they go to school, they should feel comfortable and safe Absolutely. and shouldn't have to worry yeah. about any of those things. I think it's given my daughters a little bit of anxiety. And they hear about it every minute, every time the TV's on. Right. And, you know, they question the same thing that we adults do. Right. Like, why? why is this happening right. and why can't we stop it? What I a good think, answer And I think why. it's awesome that the students are now. So when it happened in Newtown, the kids were too young to be able to stand up and say enough is enough. And now that it's happened in this high school, these students are amazing. They have I mean, done I'm, a I'm getting fierce job. I'm thinking about job. it. Speaking yeah. out and saying, you yes. know, enough is enough. Right. I don't know if you heard on March 14th, Hall High School. I'm sure Connor is doing the same thing. It's almost like good. The kids are getting it done. Like, yep. they mm -hmm. are going to step up now, and, I, and, and they, they are. are the future. You right. Know? That's right. And they're taking responsibility for their future and the things that they want. That's right. And I think the walkout is, yeah. is really a great, great expression of their frustration and of their, their feelings about everything that's going on. Absolutely. And I'm totally supportive of it. I mean, my daughter's in high school. My son, I don't know if it'll extend to the, high, to the middle schools. It's any town, school that wants to do it. And I saw on the Friends and Neighbors of West Hartford page, I think you even responded, there's been some controversy. Like, what is this going to accomplish? And you said it. It's the students doing something about it, just right, right. doing something in solidarity and standing up. And I said to, you know, I said to my daughter, Gabriella, if you want to do this, if this is something you believe in, I, I support you in doing mm -hmm. this. That's I mean, I think some too. of the teachers are even um, yeah. participating in this. Um, yeah, I think so, too. I read... A CNN report said that there has been 79 school shootings since Newtown. 79 school shootings. Only this year there has been 18. I saw you looking that up. Right. There's been 18. In the United States? In the United States. Which yeah. is mind-boggling. 18. It's February. It's, you know, February. And everybody February. knows this, and then they're still not doing anything about right. it with legislation. I mean, I know that... You know, Marco Rubio was one of the Republican Senate, Republican members who came out and said, "I will, re we will reconsider legislation." And um, I saw this thing on social media. It was like a 13-year-old kid, and they followed him around to try to buy cigarettes. It was this oh, I saw clip, that. and they oh, wouldn't sell him. This. He went in, so he was with his mom, and he went into. Uh, like a mini mart and tried to buy cigarettes and the woman was like sorry you're too young kid and then he tried right. to buy like a scratch, scratch off yeah. and no you're too long beer no you're too young and then he went into Porn like 
Nope, get out. They wouldn't even let him go. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. He's trying to go on these. No, what did you do? Go to Walmart and get a gun? Yeah, he it was in shop. Walmart, but it was like a, was gun, a gun shop, shop and they they Gave sold him, him an assault rifle. He walked out with it, paid cash, and mm -hmm. out the door he went with it. I don't know. Was it? I don't know. What was it? Florida? I don't know. I don't know where it was. But I mean, I you know, that whenever we talk about guns, it's a very touchy subject. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah. very controversial. But um, like you said, the assault rifles. Why? 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 I mean, if you're going out and you're shooting game, do you? Have to have. I don't no, know enough right. about the gun rights. But well, I am so proud of these kids who are taking it to um, to, to Washington D.C. They're getting on a plane. They're talking about. Oh, they're yeah. doing town hall meetings. Very impressed. Right. And you know what? You can say that you know kids don't know what you know don't know enough, or they're not taking things. You know, I just think that it's so great that now kids are standing up for themselves. They've always stood up for themselves, and hopefully they will do something. This that one girl that spoke at the press conference said, "We will go down in history as the." kids that did something about right. this. And you know and what? Maybe down the road that will become the norm and that will be the thing. And the person that is a little bit off kilter may want to join in and not do something to harm people. Do you right. know what I mean? I mean, there's so many different, you know, Aspects there were so many different thing. like um, signals and signs and, and all of that. And no doubt more money has to go to mental health services yeah. and there should have been help for mm -hmm. this child before it got to this point, regardless if you didn't have right. access again. Well, local news, Colchester, just somebody, they just arrested somebody who... Old Saybrook also. Um, threatened. To, threatened to... Uh, like yeah. a private school. With something on. To shoot up, shoot up the school. Yep. So, so it's, yeah. it's really something we have to address as a country. Yes, absolutely agree. Well, so and we could talk about this all day. I know. So Carol has another another, another topic. hot topic. As I drink my wine. So yeah. So one of the things I've seen recently. Oh, as, as Adria sips her wine, just to <laughs> intro, <laughs> intro the wine. Yeah. But the discussion was being had about moms and the drinking culture, kind of that is kind of promoted by moms drinking, and the the, the sense of moms having to rely on wine or alcohol to parent to get by. Exactly. Right. Yep. To parent and to be able to get by. You know, and it becoming life. socially acceptable, and, right. it, and it shouldn't be, and a lot of and it, a lot of people are against it. Right, and, it and us as Moms Time Out, our logo is in wine glass. Well, so we talked about right, this. Right, we and did. we decided when we started this whole thing, it's going to be like we're coming over to each other's houses and we're having conversations about these things that are of interest to us, maybe of interest to others. And we're having a glass of wine. We all enjoy our wine, and we joke about the antioxidants, and we mm -hmm. joke about right. you know it being right. part of our you know. Fruit, we're not abusing fruits, it. Exactly. We're not using and it as a crutch to get by as a mom. We've taken we're our not time. Putting this it is in our time out. Right. Exactly. Right. I mean, right. you know, right. I think it's so there's think extreme. Once, it's an extreme. Exactly. You know? And once it becomes something you're relying on, then it's a problem. Absolutely. But I really thought that that was interesting that's that's kind of an issue now. yes i did see that all over social, social media too yes. it, it is a very big well you topic. always hear like oh i just my daughter's having a tantrum let me have a glass of wine right. well, I'm joking issues. about it right. you know what and it's nothing to joke about and a lot about. of times you don't even take the glass of wine it's just something no, you say no and it's you not know? something to joke about yeah, i have right. a friend who's recovering and she you know, did use it as a crutch. And she says it's not a funny thing to joke about. Right. And so we on Moms Time Out absolutely are not promoting that no. moms are using and we it don't to take get it by. Lightly as far as any issues with alcohol no. or anything? No, no. But if that's what you want to do at the end of the day and you're ha hanging out with your right. girlfriends and you're right. having a glass right. of wine or you're on the beach and you're not having, you know, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. But right. I think, um, everything in moderation. I read that article, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Everything in moderation. So, anyhow. So, so on that note, we're going to take a sip of our wine. Yeah. And we'll be right <laughs> we'll back with some fabulous. <laughs> guests to talk more about these great outfits two fabulous guests are coming back we'll be Super right back thank, thank you, you. <laughs> well we're back and we're back with our two wonderful guests we're back with debbie allen wright hey hi debbie hey, hello, welcome hello. back thank and you. michelle mcneely um uh, michelle welcome, is, welcome ladies yes welcome ladies hi michelle hi. um michelle is the owner of scout and molly's an evergreen walk in south windsor correct and Debbie Allen Wright, you might have seen her on a little show called QVC. <laughs> She's the on-air spokesperson and the founder of Project Closet. Yeah. Welcome, ladies. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you for having us. And you're always on Better Connecticut. Love it. Yes. yes. And, and Better Western Mass, because I've done that with you before. Yes. It was so you're like all over TV. Out. And now you're with WHCTV. With the Mom's Time Out. That's all right. back to where <laughs> yeah. we started. This and all back. You were our fir very first guest Our first ever. guest of two years ago. Oh. First of all, you guys are so wonderful, and you're doing such a great job. Oh, I cannot believe. Yeah. Well, years. we bow down to you. I was just saying, 
when you were on and you spoke, I said, I, this is for your first show. I'm like, how? Why? I, I don't even know <laughs> what guys. to say after she yep. just spoke. And now no, she puts the mics on amazing. us. Now we're all professional. You are. You do such an amazing job. Yes, well, thank you well, so welcome. much for being yes, here. Yes, thanks for coming. You. And Michelle, we had so much fun trying on yes, all the we fun did. outfits of Scout and Molly's. Maybe we can start with you, Michelle. And tell us a little bit about Scout and Molly's because it's a new boutique. It is. Yes, it's very new. We've been we've been at uh, the Evergreen Walk location for about six months now, so we're really excited to be there. We love the location, and we had so much fun with you guys too. We I mean, did. I it love, was fun trying I everything. I love out. putting clothes on people, seeing what works. There's so many different body shapes and sizes, and it's great when you can select somebody, you know, pieces yeah. for somebody to make them look and feel good. So. And I've always thought the evergreen walk makes you feel like you're somewhere like in California or somewhere else. Not really know. Connecticut because, because they all don't the have little the little yeah, yeah. the yeah. outdoor yeah. yeah. feel. And you've yeah. only yeah. been there since September? Is yeah, right? September. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I so, love it. you know, I, I decided to follow my passion and have always loved, you know, making people feel good. You know, making them selecting really good quality pieces. Because and you weren't doing this before; you were in corporate. I was. I was in corporate America. Uh, so now it's time for me. And you're working, mom. Cheers, cheers to you. Oh, Where's my yeah. Yeah. Cheers yes. to you. Yes. Thanks. No wine awesome. left. We like love. That. We love that. Mm -hmm. And yes. it's all clothing and accessories. Yes, also. clothing accessories. So we bring in premium brands. Um, quality is very important to us. Made in USA is very important to us, but we also follow the latest trends. You know, the boutique is the design and decor is rustic chic. Um, it's a beautiful, mm. beautiful ah, inside. Just, thank I love you. That. She, she has the job. Hollywood glam with the, you know. And how do you know what? How to select your <laughs> your cut your out your clothes when you when you buy them and you bring them in? Like, would you just follow the latest trends or? Yeah. yeah. So we try to follow the trends. Um, of course. You know, we're not a department store. We try not to be a department store. We try to bring in very unique pieces along with that quality. Um, we, we try to make it a very comfortable vibe for people. Um, but we select our clothes because we go to Coterie. Um, there's market a few times a, a year. Okay. So right now I'm getting ready to go to New York City to Coterie Fun. to select all the pieces for next winter, if you can believe it. We haven't even gotten to spring I yet. I know, retail, that's how, that, that's <laughs> how, that's how they <laughs> operate. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah, Much absolutely. So I'm really excited about that. And that's what I love so what you said, that when you go there, you pick eight eight pieces or eight units so it's, yeah. it's a boutique feel and you're not like you said you're not going into a department store you don't feel overwhelmed right. Michelle's like hi Adria let's see what kind of personality are you what looks good on you she you like look at the person Person's and their first. lifestyle and yeah. Yeah. Like that. so special so then you tailor it to the personality almost yeah and we always like to ask people if they have fit concerns because right. of course we all have those areas that we just may not feel as comfortable about right, so right. and if you feel good in it you look good in it you project yourself differently Absolutely. it's so great when you have a good outfit yeah. on yeah. and i feel amazing in this outfit yeah well that's it a does. great that's a great transition so good. Yeah. Yeah. debbie maybe you can take it away with yes. you're here to talk about spring trends yes. for us and maybe you can talk about what we're wearing cuz we're all wearing Scott and Molly's outfit. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. You guys all look great. I love it. <laughs> Michelle trust us Michelle's all. here. I know. And yeah. I love that you've come nice. to Evergreen Walk. I, the women owned businesses. I mean, there's nothing better local. Absolutely. We love that. And I just think it's great that we're able to showcase the wonderful talents that you bring to Connecticut and thank all the you. great designers and the brands and the local feel. What you and selected and it's, curated. Right. Yeah. It's something you don't see in the mall. That's right. what I appreciate. In the big department yeah. stores. Yep. Me too. Absolutely. And I think women in general do, right? Because yeah. we want those curated special pieces that not everyone is right. wearing. Right. That really give us, Stands like you all were bit. saying, you know, we want to feel good. We want to stand out. But, you know, standing out doesn't have to be, you know, loud. Flashy. Right. Right. Flashy. It just means, you know what, we stand a little taller. We look in the mirror. We actually smile back right. at ourselves. And, you know, we deserve that. And that sets the whole tone for the day, the week. I mean, it's, it's important. It helps to come every. Kids you have to come better. every episode, Debbie. We <laughs> <laughs> all feel good about ourselves when Debbie's here. I feel so great. It's true. You're so yeah. beautiful, but it matters. You know, I mean, that energy that comes off of us. And that's our whole mantra, right? Yeah. With Project Closet is. Feeling it's all good. energy, yeah. Because you know what, feeling good, I always say it's more than just the blouse or the skirt, as beautiful as it is. You know, it's about how clothing and how we how everything just makes us feel, yep. the emotion. That's really what matters most. Like I could visually or Michelle could we could put you in something that is amazing on you, but for some reason you're not feeling yeah. it. Right. And then even right, though it works, yeah, right. it's, not it's not working for you. Right. And you know, you it just that moment that, you know, that customer or that client puts on that outfit 
it just you see it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what you're walking away with. And you don't need a you know, you don't need a lot of clothes because the truth is you don't feel that way in everything. So, right. you know, it's it's a good time of year, right? Springtime to edit, go through those pieces that don't make you feel fabulous and really just you owe it to yourself to have pieces that really rock out and, and is that the project good. closet debbie is that tell us some more about that well i started that believe it or not 25 years oh ago goodness. the whole idea was just to be able to you know i had years and years of retail management experience i had gone to college for business and marketing i did corporate for many years but just always kept coming back to clients and wardrobing them and helping them and it was just sort of this thing that i just felt so good doing just like michelle saying mm -hmm. you know with opening her store and I just couldn't get away from it, you know, and that's when I started Project Closet and it just became an intimate way to really, you know, get into someone's, you know, closet and help them just literally to feel you go good. into women's literally closets. Literally go into closets, that's right. That's awesome. Can yep. you come to my closet? Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. You know, it's a very personal space and I was honored, you know, and am honored to be invited into that space in your home and because there's a lot of history in there, there's a lot right. of emotion in there. There's a lot of baggage, yeah. a lot of baggage. Right. Yeah. A lot of baggage and, <laughs> a lot you know, of stuff that needs to get out of the closet. That's right. and yeah. it's not always pretty, right. you know. People yeah. hold on to things, and I, you know, I'm the voice. Why? Why? You yeah, know, right. What's, right. It do, what's it do for you? Right. You know, we're going forward. We're not going back. We're not. Right. You know, whether it's a weight to thing. Too. <laughs> Remember when right. I did that? that it's always the joy of um, the. Right. Remember I did that Japanese. Yeah. Where we are supposed to hold something up and talk to it and say, "How does this make me feel?" Remember when I was yes. doing that? Yeah, you were talking your clothes. I remember that. I was holding my clothes. That's the whole thing. But it was like, does this make me feel? amazing when I wear it. Right. Not so much. Right. I mean, you're right. Why right. am I holding Why? on to it? Because really, do we ever say, you know what, I just think I'll, I just really want to have an okay No, day. because I look at it and I go, no. I might like, need this if that. I'm painting the house or if I'm doing yard work. And my husband's like, when are you painting the house? <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like, this is yeah. to hold on to. You know, and sometimes, Debbie, I go to my closet, like, you know, I have a conference coming up, right? And so I'm like, oh, I want to look good every day. Yes. But then you're like, oh, that's my favorite. No, I got to wear, no, I got to save that. I got to say, but really, you should have a favorite More for favorite. every day. <laughs> Yes. Right? Yes. And the thing is, you can, for your conference, you can pack two pairs of pants, one skirt, two pairs of pants, right? I don't know how many days you're yeah, there. Yeah, But you don't need a lot of a bottoms. A whole week, Debbie. A All right. whole right. Okay. week. Right. So you just pack one good pair of jeans, a couple good trousers, right. and a skirt. And then you just play with the top. So Blend you don't it. need to right. bring five pairs of pants. Or right, even, right. I mean, I've gone on business trips where I brought my one pair of Ecru, which Michelle carries, my favorite, <laughs> yes. world's best fitting pant of all time. Okay. I have them on now. <laughs> okay. But you bring that one pair of black or navy and you build five looks around it. I mean, that's all you need. If an you accessory. Yeah. Feel an accessory. Yes, if you feel good in that pant, yeah. you don't need You're, five. Right. Well, I have to tell you, every time I see you, even on social media, Forget even just TV appearances, like social media. I see you. And I, every time I see you, I'm like, oh, I love that outfit. Today, too. And then I'm like, oh, and then I see you again. I'm like, oh, I, I love that outfit, too. And I'm like, I've it's never so seen a bad outfit on you. Right. So you know? maybe we, that's a good time to talk about spring trends. Yes. And maybe yes. talk about what we're wearing from I Michelle's love lovely boutique. Yeah. It's the fun stuff. All right, yeah, we can stand first. up and model. Yeah, you okay. Okay. We'll, we'll highlight so each pull outfit on here. its own. I right, have so to show I have open toed shoes because we're in spring. <laughs> yes. And I have purple toes, yeah, courtesy purple toes of my dolly. Yes, yeah. Which I love that. That's yeah. the color of the year, first of all. Oh, so we're in the color of the trend. year. Who knows? Right? I hid a little secret there. Right? Color of the all year. shades of yep. purple. Yep. Lavender. Yep. Love this. So you see florals, prints, that's a big trend in and of itself. So there's a few cheeks. things going on here, yes. right, that we love. So yep. that's a trend in and of itself. Okay. Also, this sleeve detail. Yeah. What do you call this? Like bell. a bell? bell. This is a bell sleeve. Okay. Yeah, just that. a nice, beautiful sleeve. So beautiful. Sleeve that gorgeous. Drapes. It's really pretty. Isn't that so pretty. And very flattering. It's very comfy. Very feminine. Very, f and it does. It just gives it's you a very little comfy, element yeah. of style. It's very comfy, yeah. And then we have the, the stackables, or, right? That Michelle put on me. Jewelry by Is it Tara? Is it Tazzy? Is it Tazzy? Is it Tazzy? Is it Tazzy? I just Tazzy love designs. it because it's like a hip and edgy. fun and fresh. Yeah. This one. Yeah. yeah. It's so fun. a little hard with the soft yeah. little mix. And I think you should get that because that's giving you a little bit of edge that you're not used to, too. Yeah. yeah. I know. For yeah. A conservative little yeah. Right. Girl. right. I don't have my pearls on but today. But see, this is how you <laughs> yeah. do it, right? Because you are more conservative. Yeah. But it's so but fun. You add a little, a little edge bit. there. I love so it. This almost looks like a shark tooth. 
so pretty. Yeah. Look at me with my shirt. And, and then we have the a good way to test it out. Then we have the gorgeous Colombian next to her. Yes, right? I love, love, love this dress. Then we have the beautiful dress. What's the first thing I said? Don't you feel so skinny? Oh my gosh, tall and so it drapes, skinny. just it falls on you so It's nicely. such a beautiful color too. And I love oh, the color. Uh, and the material. When I saw it, I didn't realize, until I touched it and grabbed it and tried it on, it just falls so nicely. Yeah, and you can tie up the sleeve here, you know, as the weather it's really gets a little flattering. warmer. You know, you can clip it up yeah. there, which for our petite ladies, this is a good little trick because it elongates the frame. Mm -hmm. You know what else is good? You know what else, Debbie Allen Wright? It's good for it's good for hot flash. Oh, it's good for hot flash. Let me tell you that right now. Yeah. Oh, and I just add think, that to your. I think the a line, you know, the way it goes yes. in and out right. is very flattering. It's yeah, the we love shape. It. It's the cinching of the waist that just gives you that nice frame. Right. And the material, hourglass, it's beautiful, gorgeous. and it just falls and yep. drapes. So you do the V neck, very comfortable. All features that just I could really wear it all day long. Beautiful, yep. Yeah. And right. really all shot. year round too. This right. never has to leave your closet. No. Right. So this is another, if you love it, this never has to be Sandals, I've got the booties on today. Mm -hmm. Kind of transitioning from winter to spring. Yeah, your but new yeah. pumps, big yeah. toe. You yeah. can really take this to lunch. You can do it on the weekend out for cocktails with your mom friends. Exactly. Yeah. It really goes everywhere. So yeah. cute. Change up to the jewelry. Yep. Very love pretty. It. I love it. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then chest stand up. Got, okay. Mama? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my so okay. look at look at the skirt. Can I just tell you? I, I picked the skirt out this for Cami. Yeah, you have did. Like, Lori and I picked that skirt out First for Cami. So let's talk about enhancing okay. all of the body parts that we love, which I know. I don't Turn know, front ways so you can see. Like, yeah. I don't know where to. Right there. I want to put myself here. Okay. So <laughs> now you have awesome legs. So this is what they're we're a little enhancing. bit white. I'm gonna not gonna lie to well, you. Well, that's great. Right. We're coming off the window. Okay. But we're showing off. But look at that fun hip zipper. Look at the zipper. A pencil skirt is a must-have for spring. I yep. mean, a must. This okay. Is updated so, with the so is it, so nice. and that's so that's a trend that's coming back because my yeah. grandmother said she used to wear the pencil skirts yeah. a lot. Yeah, pencil Super skirts flattering. are really flattering. Yeah. Yes. And the stretch now, this is a <gasps> modern pencil Love skirt. Love this material. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous, right? It's so, so nice. This is what's different about our, you know. Grandmothers and moms. Who there was used to no wear. give, right? There was no there give. Was no that give. waistline was right. so tight. Right. right? Remember, we used to sit yeah, down. Yeah. Woo! They were so. <laughs> it's so I can flattering. Breathe. It's I can eat and breathe. She can breathe, and I love the color. That, and I that like the white. white. Yeah, it's a beautiful. You can wear so many things with this. Right? And it goes with your black shoes, Amazing. so you don't have to worry. Yeah. You can do anything. It's gorgeous. Yep. And more floral. And look, so yeah. that's like a bell sleeve, yeah. also, but cut. Right, but the cut. This I've been seeing a lot of this. The bell, but the cut. Yep. All, you're seeing balloon sleeves, you're seeing this. I it's mean, really, really it's all about blouses today, having that detail on the sleeves. Beautiful. So the 70s, that's what's really oh, kind of love it. Yeah. I love it. And I'm even just the little girl. accessories. And look yeah. at this necklace. I know. Michelle, you did great. Access I mean, you accept Michelle Doesn't accessorized. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Even, and yeah. so even the, the necklace and the great. purse is from, the clutch is from Scout and Molly's. Yes. Yep. yep. The necklace yep. is done by Izzatazzi Designs. And oh. then this is... This um, screams spring to me. I know. It does. And it goes with beautiful. everything. And that blush yes. pastels, like you can see all the pretty it's gorgeous. pastel colors. I love the whole outfit. Yeah. Thank you. Lots of pretty trends. And the jewelry designer, she's from Connecticut as well that you carry. So I love that okay. you celebrate all you know yeah. when you can you're Absolutely. highlighting some other Locals. Connecticut businesses she has beautiful and I Debbie you're wearing I was eyeing oh, the whole time give me that, right. give me that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that you wear them all <laughs> together they're gorgeous they're, like they're gorgeous they're yeah, yeah I so love pretty. her designs and she you carry them at the store they're beautiful and so many different this colors lovely jacket you're wearing and the moto jacket and the moto jacket is that what you call it moto Moto jacket. Okay. Not motorcycle. Moto. Got it. That's right. Short for motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, right. Yes. But so cute. I, again, this over, you know, a nice maxi dress or with a t-shirt and a maxi skirt. I love the color. Jeans. I really like the color. Yeah. The yeah. gray. The yeah. really muted pastels, the soft. That's another big trend that looks great on all women, whether you do a lilac or a blush or this gray. It's neutral enough but soft enough. So pastels are kind of pastels. trendy now. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I love yeah. the blush color pastels that are in style. I do too. I love those. Yeah. yeah. Everyone looks good in that blush yep. tone. You know. Pretty. Yeah. And I feel like fashion certainly you know, fashion does kind of follow what's happening, you know, in the world, right? With emotion. And I feel like the soft Softer, pastels gentler. Gentler oh, the flowers. Nice. Like what we're seeing is sort of what you know, we as people, kind of humans, need to feel right. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah. Michelle's also wearing. I know your, this is gorgeous. Michelle, you're wearing your own. Thank you. I'm wearing my <laughs> it's own. so pretty. Now Lori is. So pretty. Lori has the flu. We should say so. Yes, that's Lori why she's I not know, here. We, are Lori. we do. We had her dress so lovely. Lori was actually 
going to wear that, that yeah. outfit. So yeah. maybe you could talk That's a little beautiful. bit about that. Seems very seventies, the peasant. Yes, sort with the flowers. Of. Flower, flower, yeah, but then, flowers. then then she has like the trendy choker. Mm -hmm. Yes, the choker is back. Thank I'm you. so happy. Thank you, Michelle, for I saying love that. that. What girls? <laughs> yeah, was my favorite thing. You're the choker. Yep. 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 I love the choker yep. in lace and faux leather. Oh, yep. and even like a little mm -hmm. some little flower. Oh, with the choker. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little simple tea. Yeah. Something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's and so are the ripped outfit. jeans, the distressed jeans, still yeah, the in? Distress, is that trend? Yeah. The dress yeah. jeans are still. And they're coming in for spring. They're going to stay around for spring and for summer. So, can I ask you a question? So, even moms. Can wear the ripped. I wear yeah, all yes. my jeans are ripped. Yeah, and if they're it's not ripped, you should really... rip them. <laughs> you can. We used them. to rip them. We did. I used to rip my jeans. Yeah. Back in the seventies. As your daughter would say, Francesca would say, "Mom, you need to be on trend. Mm -hmm. You better rip those jeans." Yeah. Well, you know, in someone who's a bit more conservative, maybe you just have a little tear. But so it doesn't matter what age you know. So it doesn't matter what age you are. Trendy ripped jeans, distressed jeans can be any age. If you feel good in them, and right. uh, yep. there are different variations. You yep. know, again, I don't think at 50, you know, I, I will be wearing like shredded rip, like barely held together. Right. But, but you I wear like, a little I bit of rip. I wear a little bit, yeah, cuffed up, like Michelle showing, just with a little skin. It's great okay. for summer with a t-shirt. Just shows okay. you're updated. And if they fit well, which all the brands that she carries, you know, she carries some great ones for denim. Yep. I mean, you're going to feel great in them. They stretch. They fit your body. They should fit a little closer. You know, don't be afraid. Jeans aren't meant to be big mm -hmm. anymore. Right. Right. And it uh, looks great with all the big blousier tops. Right? Yeah. Right. So I cover, we cover no our mom jeans. We don't want any mom jeans. No, no, no mom the high waisted jeans. jeans are. But those are bad yeah. because yeah. Gabriella was saying yeah, that's, that's kind of bad. But yeah, but again, if your body's. It's not shape, back for moms, it's back for. <laughs> <laughs> well, it back for the young be. girls. Like yeah. the gray hair, too. The gray yeah. hair trend's good for the young girls. That's right. So, what are, what are some <laughs> other trends that we should kind of be looking at for the spring or for this time of the year? First time or, of the year? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think some of the other wearable trends that, you know, women in general are really embracing are embroidered jeans. You know, that's another big trend. I've seen those. Yeah, like the, the flowers. The jeans yep. the flowers. So I do like that. I do like that as well because a lot of us have like the simpler tops. Yeah, that, right. You know, yep. so to do a little embellishment. Now, and that yeah. seems like the set. I'm sorry to mean yes. it, but like that seems like the exactly. set. Exactly. Because when I was little, my mom used to do the embroidery on the jeans, or she used to embroider a jean jacket yes. for us. Exactly. So it looks like you're bringing the bedazzler back. But it's like, Cammy is wow. dying for the bedazzler. I want a bedazzler. If anyone out there. She's dying for the dazzle. Dazzle. But that's not back. Cammy, that's not back. The trend no, is the 70s. But I'm going to bring it back. And I'm going to put Debbie oh, on right yeah. on the case for me. Uh, didn't we well, used to iron things. on that? Yes. Yes. Didn't we used yeah. to yeah. iron on that? We yeah. ironed on the patches. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. So that's <laughs> kind of fun. And the patchwork okay. and the different staggered hemlines for jeans. Oh, oh I you had those jeans. So like cut different So Michelle has those at Scout and Molly's. I tried them on. And they're so cute because they're designed, right? I mean, now it's all about the shoes and the sandals. Yep. So how cute with that little step hem. It literally, that's what it is, a step hem. Yes. Is that what you call yeah. it? A step yes. hem. So it's shorter so in the front. Yeah. 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 Step hem. Step hem. Yeah. Cute. I need to start talking about that. All step hem. Step sounds so trendy girls. at the Go water cooler. Go home and talk about, and talk about the girls. step hem. Do you want to talk for some step hems? Yeah. Bring that up yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, we'll yeah. That. Well, yeah, that's Ooh. great. Cool. Yeah. Mom, well, thank you so much. And we talked to Michelle. We're going to do a mom's time out, mom's night out. Or just a ladies' night out, maybe yeah, at, we'll at Scout and Molly's. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We'll Check do wine and, cheese. Wine, Debbie, and cheese. Debbie, if you're ready, you could join us. Yeah. We'd love to bring great. some of the women to, to your there. shop. I think it's a great opportunity to support a women-owned business mm -hmm. and to look at some of the nice trends in a thank small you. environment where you don't right. feel so overwhelmed. Right. So right. thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Oh, thank we have a so gift for both of you. We do. Speaking of spring is in the air. It's a little Pinot Grigio for summer. So thank you for being on with us. Yes. Thank you so much. We hope Take you'll come back time. again. Yes, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you ladies. So Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. We'll be right back. They were wonderful. I oh could just sit and listen yes. to Debbie Allen Wright, and Michelle <laughs> is amazing. We're so trying to get the I know. I love this dress. We're buying all these yep. clothes. We're going to get all these clothes. And we're excited because we're going to have a mom's time out, mom's night out at. Scout and Molly. Yes. Right. Or just ladies night. Doesn't have to be a mom. Ladies night. Doesn't have to be exactly. moms. Ladies night. Only ladies can come. If you want to wine get really and cheese. Cute yep. clothes, come and check it out. It's beautiful, beautiful yep. place. Yep.
Awesome. And we have a lot of stuff going around town, don't we, girls? Yes. Community right. events. A lot more stuff going um, on. The St. Patrick's about Day the Parade. Same Are you That's going? Fun. You I go every year. Yes, we yes. go. So fun. If you're there, do a shout out to us, MTO. Look for us. And we'll take, be there. And take a picture and send it to us. And it's yes. the Saturday so before the actual 17th. Yes. St. Patrick's right. They right. never the do 10. the parade on the 17th. Right. They never ever. do. Mom's gone wild so. at the parade. And we have a very big, um, fun, secret thing we've been working uh -huh. on. We can kind of start Can we start saying about it? Okay. So, um, Jabberhead's going to start Jabberhead, Jabberhead's going to start talking Jabberhead. about this, and they've been doing an awesome job with all this. But we're going to be doing a mom's makeover, makeover. Mother's Day, Mother's Day mom's makeover, yep. makeover contest, contest. contest. Yep. Can I? Can we say what they're going to get or no? No, we can keep it. Okay, but but, but there are a lot of local um, businesses that are involved that have been overly generous, and you are going to be the Ladies, one that going you're going to want to win this because yes. I want to win. It's going to be this. awesome. It's yeah, going to be jealous. a fun day for a mom, a deserving mom. More to come. And don't forget, continue to follow us, yep, continue to absolutely. like us. We're still looking for our thousandth like, so hopefully that's you. Big surprise. And what, and what do we get for that? There, oh, we can't say. Well, that's there's another surprise. Special something I up. keep saying Carol yep. jumping out of a cake. You know? <laughs> no. I keep saying we're going to ring their doorbell with <laughs> one of those like well, sweet Well, we may be doing that. A lot of fun We're not going to be, what's his name? Ed McMahon. It's not Epic Man, but no, it's better. It's not better than Epic Man. Maybe we should. Oh, yes, maybe we should bring Debbie Allen Wright into Debbie the closet. Yes. Into her, into the closet. Like saying, talk her name. Allen, right? see, we just got to talk right. these things so out. We got to talk it out. Wrap. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and don't forget, forget. You, you put, put the time, time in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take the time out. out. And our wine's empty. And we have no one. Snuggle <laughs> every night, and you snuggle up real tight. Is it in front of your screen, where everything we show is exactly how it. Seems everything we show is right for you.